Hello and welcome to Point Blank with Danielle. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to tell if a sunscreen is mineral or chemical. So first up, you may hear some terms used interchangeably, especially for mineral sunscreen. A mineral sunscreen may also be described as a physical sunscreen. It may be also described as inorganic. And then with the chemical sunscreen, you may also hear that being described as organic. In the grand US of A, there are only a certain amount of UV filters that are approved to be used in sunscreen. So when you're looking at mineral sunscreens, which by the way, I've tried tons of, so make sure you check out my mineral sunscreen for dark skin playlist as well as a blog post that I will link below that chronicles some of the best ones I've tried so far. That'll be linked in the description box. Make sure you check it out. Um, in my experience though with trying a lot of mineral sunscreens is that the mineral ones tend to really <laughs> just shout out, hey, I'm a mineral sunscreen. Typically in the name of the product or somewhere written on the front of the packaging, it'll say that it's a mineral sunscreen. But you can't just stop there because we know how some brands can be a little funny and tricky with their marketing and the way that they word things. So sometimes you might see a sunscreen be described as mineral based. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a 100% mineral sunscreen. It may mean that it has one of the mineral filters in it but then it can also have a chemical filter in it as well. And in the US, there are only two materials that are approved to be used in a mineral sunscreen, and that's zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Um, a lot of times you're gonna see zinc oxide as the only material in a mineral sunscreen. So basically you flip your sunscreen over to the back or you, you, know, you look up the brand's website and it'll list the active ingredients and the UV filters are gonna be listed in, typically listed in the active ingredients. So if you see only zinc oxide or you see zinc and titanium dioxide, chances are that is going to be a mineral sunscreen. Now what you also wanna do is look at the other ingredients because sometimes you're going to have a chemical filter listed in there. Now, I know this is getting confusing, but stay with me. Now, some of the common chemical filters in the US include oxybenzone, octocrylene, homosalate, avabenzone, oxtilisate, oxtinoxate. Those are some of the chemical filters that are approved to be used in sunscreens that are available in the US. Now, here's the thing that can be a little confusing is that sometimes those chemical filters can be listed in the ingredients but not as the way that I just said them. So for instance, this word right here <laughs> can also be listed on the ingredients and it is oxinoxate. So then what is a sunscreen consumer to do when they're trying to figure out, is this a mineral sunscreen or a chemical sunscreen? So essentially what you need to do is you break out your good old friend Google. Now be careful because there are a lot of websites out there that will tell you that everything is fire and brimstone and it's all going to hell. But you know, me personally, I like to use the Polish Choice website to look up ingredients because I just, you know, I trust it. Um, there is some bias there because Polish Choice also sells products as well, but I feel comfortable looking up ingredients on the Polish Choice website and trusting the information that I'm gonna get from it. But you know, that might be different for you and that's on you. But we live in a global community. Lots of us travel around, you know, when we could, when it was possible, but when we could, and when we can, a lot of people are gonna travel around the world and maybe pick up some skincare products, specifically sunscreen products from other countries. Or there are a lot of us who go online and try to purchase some of our favorite sunscreens that are available outside of the United States of America. And then how then are you going to tell? Because they've got filters available that we don't have available here in the US. How does one tell then if the sunscreen is mineral or chemical? You gotta Google, you, you, you gotta Google. In my experience, sometimes when you're looking at sunscreens that aren't available in the US and you're looking to see what, which ones or what, sometimes the UV filters aren't separated as active ingredients and they're put together with the other ingredients as well, um, which is the case when I was looking for the ingredients for a couple of Korean mineral sunscreens that I had tried in a previous video. So make sure you check that one out as well. So then you're like, oh, what do I do? You're gonna have to look up a significant amount of ingredients sometimes, which is not a bad thing because knowing is power sometimes. Unless you wind up on one of those weird websites that tell you everything is bad and everything's fire and brimstone and we're all going to hell, you know, kind of kindly stay off of those websites. But 
it's not a bad thing to look up ingredients and find out what things are because you know you empower yourself when you know more. All right, now how do you find out which one is best for you? That is going to vary from person to person. There are some people who have irritations towards the American chemical filters and they do better with the American mineral filters. Some people may prefer a filter that's not available here in the US. Then recently, we have found out that a specific category of individuals, namely people who are Fitzpatrick skin types four through six who have persistent pigmentation issues. We're talking melasma, which can be, you know, can be a little bit of a song and dance to treat for some people. Um, and those with, I would say, aggressive hyperpigmentation. And by that, I mean like, I'm not talking about someone who has two pimples and then they've left two dark spots and they're treating that. I wouldn't consider that aggressive or a persistent pigmentation issue. So that population in a recent study has shown that they might do better with tinted mineral sunscreens that contain iron oxides. Now I did a video on that, so make sure you check that out for all of the tea. Make sure you follow me on social. I'll have the links in the description box and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye.